Oh! Mmm! You son of a gun! Mmm! Quit! <sighs> Stop! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on today's video. We got a huge surprise. We've been keeping a secret from y'all and it was hard, but I was able to keep it for a pretty good while. But um, we're going to share that with y'all in a minute. This is going to be really, really big for our farm. And it's going to help us out, especially with all the stuff we got going on. I can't give you too much or I will give it away. But um, what we're going to do um, before we get started going through, as you've seen in the last video, that uh, we had several, um, we had one of our pins blow over and then we had to um, put all that together. We got to go through, gather eggs. And um, we had several babies uh, while we were gone. Well, the last, probably the day before we come back. So we got a lot of stuff going on, but as you see the contractors up here working on the barn, um, they had some vehicle problems. So they, it kind of worked out great. They was gone uh, for three or four days and we were gone too. So uh, it kind of worked out. So now we get to watch it be built. So let's walk up here and see what kind of progress they got. And then we'll head up to the chicken yard or um, I may show y'all the surprise, so stay tuned. All right, guys, we made it up here. We're inside the the barn, and uh, they finished framing it in and everything uh, yesterday. And now we got our first piece of metal up here, in which this here is just going to be the frame. We'll eventually get some tin and put on it and uh, cover that all up and have it matching tin with everything else. I think the colors, will, I don't know what colors we're gonna go with because we got the green chicken pens up there. We got the red barn. I don't know, it's gonna be green or red. We'll just kind of go from there, but man, they're making progress on it. And I'm just uh, super excited that, uh, man, it's happening. It's, it's, it's yeah, so um, he's gonna work on it, you know, uh, today in the next couple days. And anyways, let's go over here and let me show you the huge surprise we've been keeping from y'all. Okay guys, so I had to go in and get a hoodie on because it's kind of cool. This, the wind is really, really high right now. It's blowing 40, 50 miles an hour. And uh, hopefully tomorrow it won't be that bad because I'm fixing to turn around here and show you our new equipment that we got for the farm. And uh, hopefully tomorrow me and Steph can get everything set up and uh, start working some goats. But we're gonna turn around and take a look, guys. We have got our official setup to uh, basically, it's a, it's a set of scales. We got scales now that we can weigh the, um, the goats when they come through. And then we also have a spin chute that they can run through here. We can squeeze it together, turn them sideways, and trim their hoofs. I know many of y'all have been talking about that, and I've just been kind of keeping my mouth closed because I knew we was going to be getting this set up. Um, we don't have it all set up yet, but we will. Um, it will most likely be in this video. I think um, I'm going to move some stuff back here, some of the bigger chicken pens. I'm gonna take them up there. The old ones, we'll probably uh, move them to the back. But um, we got a spin chute, this here. I'm not for sure what you call this, but basically there's a gate on the inside. You can push that gate all the way forward. It forces the goats to go inside the spin chute. And um, we got several of these panels here. I'm not for sure. I think we ended up getting, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We ended up getting 20 aluminum panels and these are some of uh, the side shoots uh, for, this, uh, for the shoot. Like I say, it'll all make sense once we get it all put together. But um, you know, we've needed this for a very, very long time. And I've done a, started doing some research on it and uh, I remember that um, Kevin with uh, Hidden Heights Farm and I uh, believe it was Daniel with uh, Arns Family Homestead actually had a spin shoot. So that's, uh, that's when I got to start looking at Lakeland Farm and Ranch Direct. And um, yeah, so we're super excited to get this thing set up. 
I think I love the colors. So the colors definitely go with our our chicken coops up there. They're green as well. Um, the scales are absolutely awesome as well. Um, and it kind of worked out perfect because they was a sponsor at the Okie Homestead Expo. And um, when I made the purchase, they said they was going to the expo and they ended up shipping the, the package that we bought to the expo. So they demonstrated everything and kind of used it as a demo, but uh, it worked out perfect. We, we saw how they used a lot of the equipment. It was really cool. This here is going to be a big asset on the farm. Um, probably not going to get it set up today. Um, the sun's starting to go down and all my help is in town. The kids had ball practice and Leighton had ball practice. Addison had ball practice. The other kids went to play. So, um, yeah, but that is my surprise. I've been holding. We got uh, here in just a second. Casey ain't here with me today, but we got together eggs from the last few days. Leighton and Kaysen took care of all the animals while we were gone, but I told them just to leave the eggs that way. They didn't have to run back and forth because my father was bringing them out here. So we'll gather all the eggs and get them put up. So we can get them an incubator. I think I may have a bigger incubator that we're going to be getting. So um, we'll fill that baby up. What's going on guys? Let's see if we have any new babies today. We got any new babies? We got any new babies? Oh, that's the one that was born yesterday. He got him an ear tag already. I will say though, man, we've had more boys than anything this uh, go around. And we're still trying to identify some of the babies. Look at them, they're just all laying in here. Yep, laying around in here. I know, y'all need to find y'all's mamas. Y'all need to find y'all's mama. Yes. Where's your mama? Looks like we still got about five or six that are not ear tagged yet. So we gotta get that going. I seen four up there. There's one down here. They like getting in this, um, in this dog house here. There's probably several of them in here. Yeah. They got ear tags. Y'all got ear tags in there? Huh? Y'all got ear tags? They do have ear tags. All right, we're gonna go up here with the, start out with the chocolates. The other chocolates are out, I see. Or oh, I think, I don't even think we pinned them up last night. Yeah, we'll get some eggs for y'all. All right, looks like we got, well, looks like we got one of them, looks like we got one of them sitting here. Okay, here. Here, I'm up. I'm up. Yeah, she's, she's sitting back there. I'm gonna get that fake egg out. That fake egg can go there. Looks like, which is okay, I mean, if anything, I may actually take those. You better stop. See how these, I don't like how these eggs are like that right there. Oh, you better stop. Oh, easy. How many you got in there, baby? Yeah, she's sitting. She's got six of them in there. All right, guys. So she's a, she's actually sitting right now. She got about six eggs under her. And um, what we'll probably do is go get a few more eggs and stick under her because we don't have our incubators here yet. And uh, she can go ahead and start sitting on those. Um, 
when we get the incubators, we can put them in there or just let her set them out. I don't think, I don't think it'll hurt her. We gotta find the other hens too. I don't know, actually I'm gonna try to find the chocolates right now. Oh, they're, they might all be in there right now. Yep, they're all in there. Yeah, they're all in there, so we're gonna go ahead. <laughs> I don't know how, but uh, I, I meant to catch them last night, but there was only four of them, so I see that, oh wow, they got a bunch. The Jubilees has got a bunch. Y'all have been y'all have been laying some eggs, girls. Yes. Y'all have been doing amazing. Y'all have been doing amazing. Looky there, guys. Kason would be blown out of his mind. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm gonna go ahead and take these guys. Put them in my pocket. Spot, get ready for the incubator. That's a fake one, fake one, fake one, fake one. I've got to get some more laying pellets up here. We got a feed tonight. So we got a busy, busy evening. Don't know if we'll show all of that, but We'll show some, and I've brought a um, one of these up here so we can put all the eggs in them. But they haven't been gathered in four days either, so let's see how many the splashes got. Hey guys, how are y'all? Did y'all have a good few days, huh? Did y'all have a good few days? Wow, y'all laid a bunch of eggs too. Y'all did really good. Y'all even laid one down here. Yeah, they did amazing too. And there's only four in here. And looks like we got nine eggs, 10 eggs out of that. So that's awesome. All right, looks like we got about 10 out of that one. I wish Kaysen was here with us, but unfortunately he's at ball practice too, and we gotta get these gathered tonight. There's a bunch of them too. Jerry, is that what it is? Did you miss me? Huh? Did you miss me? Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's gonna come up here and try to take your spot. Now you ain't getting behind me now, Jerry. You get in front of me. She ain't coming up behind me. Come here. You just like cowboy. You think you got to be a, hey. Jerry, Jerry, no, no. No, no, no. Now. Boy. Hey. Y'all better set y'all's rear ends down. We've only been gone for a couple days. You better stop. Jerry, see, that's what happens. Now. You can't act like, you better stop. You better go on, leave Jerry alone. You go on and leave Jerry alone, boy. Hey, you you keep that up, you'll be leaving. You keep that up, you'll be leaving. Jerry's a good boy. Jerry just missed me, that's all it was, huh? You just missed me, didn't you, Jerry? Yeah, you didn't get no attention and loving. You didn't get no, you better stop. You didn't get no tension and loving, Jerry, did you? Well, Jerry's not so happy we left. Let's go in here and see what we got in. Boy, you come after me, you're going to get, it'll be your last day.
Let's see what these chocolates did. Did y'all lay any eggs? We got a couple in here. Let's see if they put any in here. Nope. These doors are broke. We got them like that, but I'm not taking this thing apart and sending them all back in because it has a little rough to put these two guys together. You got some eggs over here? These are Stephanie's chickens. She loves these colored chickens. Looks like we got one egg in there. There's two. Actually, there's three. Got four blue eggs. I don't know if you can tell very well, but these are actually blue. How's y'all's feed doing? How's y'all's feed doing? Y'all still got quite a bit of feed. I know these eggs out here come from the chocolate pen because that is uh, the pen that knocked over. And I'm gonna go ahead and get these eggs here. And I'm going to put them over here in this nesting box. So we'll put these over here with these hens and then they will start setting on them. And uh, once we get them inside there, they should be pretty good, hopefully in 21 days. She's got six eggs in there right now. So we're going to add these four. There you go. Maybe there's five. There you go. There's you a bunch of them there. There's you 11. Okay guys, so I went and got some more feed. Uh, we got to put out laying pellets feed and oyster shell again. Like I say, we have to do this about once every week. Uh-uh. Nope. Leave it alone now. Leave it alone, leave it alone. Leave it alone. All right, I'm gonna put a lid on it so you can't get it, okay? Is that what you want? All right, so I'm just gonna put some feed in this one. Stevie, you act like you ain't never ate before, girl. I'll be glad when this wind goes away. All right, chocolates, if y'all want some feed, y'all better back up. Come on, move it, girls, move it, girls. Oh, mm. you son of a gun. Mm. Quick. Ah. <sighs> stop. You better stop now. You better quit. You son of a gun, quit. Give me my chick, let me get my bucket. You better stop. You ain't gonna get no more food. Stop. You better, I want my camera and I'm leaving. Get back. He got me pretty good on that one. That hurt. So we definitely don't want any casing to get in this one. Everybody want to be mean.
Everybody want to be mean. And it's okay if uh, the other chickens come up here and get uh, food. I mean, I, I want them to eat all they want to eat. All right, so we just finished. We just went through here and filled up all their feeders and uh, their laying pellets. Now, I didn't put any oyster shell in because they still got quite a bit of it. Um, I end up doing that before, uh, probably sometime this week, they'll probably need it. Um, which they're doing really good eating oyster shells, which is amazing. Um, that just hardens that egg. Man, I've still got to come up with a better deal with the back here. Um, I know in the video I showed y'all the other day where the pin actually blew over. I think I need to get some dirt like I've got here, but um, I got to figure out a way to keep these up here without blowing over, so. I don't know, that's just one of those deals. It might be, I just have to fight all the time. But um, anyways, we're gonna head down there and feed the goats. Um, but before we do that, let's run over there and check and look at the uh, barn. The contractors just left. So let's go see what they got done today. See what they got done today. And I know I, I, from time to time we get comments People saying, you know, I get tired of seeing the same, you feeding the animals, this and that. Well, here's the, that's just part of our life. And that's what I document is our life. And um, not every day is going to have something exciting in it. Um, but, you know, if you've been with us since day one, when we've been back here, if you've joined us and have joined our family, um, I would think a lot of y'all would want to see that because basically this is y'all's farm as well just as it is mine. Um, and I hope y'all feel that way because um, we absolutely enjoy all the animals and we enjoy y'all. But um, I didn't film much of us building this dirt up, but I did get it built up quite a bit. It looks like they got up three panels today. That looks pretty good. It sure does. Yep, it does. Which I'm gonna have to put some tin on it. And I've said that from day one that we're going to have to add tin. I see what these little clipped lips are here now is that is uh, he's actually setting the panels on. Yeah, I mean, they look a little rough on the outside, but I think once I get some tin, I can put that tin on there and it, it'll look really nice, you know. Um, it's just one of those deals it takes time you know and when when this was gave to me i just felt like it was a great opportunity um, for us to build the barn which one day we will have a house right there but um yeah this is all starting to look really really good so he's still got to go up there and he's going to put panels all the way across and uh, he said it all match up so he knows what he's doing. Um, I really enjoy his work. He does amazing work. Um, yeah, so, you know, that's one thing I was talking to Dutch and Daniel about is um, about the welder that, that we had, uh, that I had, or maybe it was Dutch. He was like, man, it's always good to have a, a welder on hand, especially if it's a good one. And, and uh, Austin is definitely good. He's a man of his word. If he tells you something, that's the way it's going to be. I think I'm going to go ahead and gather these turkey eggs. I may leave a few in there, but while I'm here, 
I'm going to gather them because there's also a nest of them up there by the house. I'm going to go ahead and get before somebody else does. But um, I figured the red t uh, turkey would already be sitting by now. I don't know how many's there, but there's a bunch. 14, 15, 16. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and leave that one there. Um, that way... Hopefully she'll continue sitting there, but um, we'll walk down here and get these other ones as well because the white turkey is the one that's laying down here by the house. Um, and I just got to get them before one of the dogs or a varmint or something comes up and gets them. Same thing, I'm gonna go ahead and leave one these are a lot darker and a lot bigger keep this in here then. we'll take these over to the barn real i mean the rv real quick that's a lot of eggs looks like we're 102 that ain't good it's set on 60 though that's one reason why i'm looking forward to getting you know that stand-up one, yes, it is a lot more expensive, but in the long run, it'll be better off for us. And uh, I can't wait to see Kaysen's face when he hatches his own chickens. And these here should be coming off maybe next week. I'm gonna look at the dates on them just to make sure. So let's go finish feeding the goats. Y'all hungry? Y'all hungry? Y'all hungry? Y'all hungry? Well, come on. I'll get y'all some food. <laughs>